great, of yeah. course. Yeah, always awesome. great, huh? Yes. Yes. Tell him I said what's up. I will. I will. Okay. Okay. My name is huh? Yes. Yes. Tell him I said what's up. I will. I will. Okay. Okay. My name is Crystal Jordan and I'm with Rolling Out Magazine. What's up, Crystal? I am great. First of all, congratulations on yet another culturally connecting film. Thank you. I like the way you say that, culturally connecting. That's what we wanted to do. We Absolutely. definitely wanted to connect with the culture and not just like the church mm -hmm. or faith-based element of the culture, but just the culture at large. Right. That was definitely one of our goals. Well, it felt that way. I think I was talking to Chloe and Angelica earlier and I said it sound, it felt like Sister Act, The Fighting Temptations, and Bring It On. Like okay. all kind of meshed in there. You've got the girl competition. You've yep. got, you know, a little bit of a good message. And then, you know, just overall humor, comedy, and all those things. Yep. And ironically, Chloe was actually in The Fighting Temptations. As young Beyonce. Yes. How <laughs> full circle and cool is that? Absolutely. A lot of people don't know that. But now she is obviously older as a young woman, mm -hmm. and she's the centerpiece of her own gospel movie. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love it. I love it. Speaking of gospel, like you mentioned, not necessarily just for a certain a certain sect, but I think that young people, we don't see that same connection to like church and those old types of things. Do you think this movie is going to be able to kind of bring a connection with that gospel message and just that hopefulness to young people that may not be looking to church as they, as they did in more traditional times? I hope so. That's what we made it for. Mm -hmm. You just named the audience that we really made this for. Mm -hmm. Young people who don't have a connection to church, yeah. who have lost their way, who are questioning their faith mm -hmm. and spirituality. Yeah. Doesn't mean that it's not for church folks. We mm -hmm. definitely want folks who know what a praise team is and can quote a, bur a verse <laughs> you know, from the Bible like that. Mm -hmm. We want them and we think they'll enjoy it too. Yeah. But we definitely thought about when you look at the movie, you watch the way it's constructed, mm -hmm. it's about people who aren't traditionally church. Yeah. Our, our hero praise team in the movie, mm -hmm. they don't even have a real church. Right. They operate out of an oil factory. But church is where the heart is. Mm -hmm. Church is where you gather and you, you know, praise. And so it was important that we didn't um, place on this movie any uh, bounds or, or um, parameters mm -hmm. that would make it feel like, okay, this is what church is and this is what church isn't. Because yeah. that's not true. Right. You know, church is whatever you make it. And mm -hmm. church is not just about a building right. um, or a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. It's about faith. It's about your connection with the higher power. That's mm -hmm. what we were trying to get across in this movie. Yeah, I love that. And especially releasing it during Easter, a great way to kind of get that message at a very No mistake time. there. Very mm -hmm. intentional. I love that. Now, this is a musical comedy. Yeah. And I said to myself, like, there must not be anything Will Packer will not attempt to do. <laughs> like, there is no genre that you will not, uh, you know, basically set out and conquer. Was this a challenge for you at all? It, they're all a challenge. Okay. Every last movie is, is a challenge. They're all very, very hard to make. And mm -hmm. I am very grateful to be able to tell stories. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, I definitely am fearless <laughs> when it comes to taking on genres and certain subject matters. I wanted this to be another opportunity for me to tell a story that hopefully connected with an audience, but in a different way. Okay. I, I wanted you to see this and come in for mm -hmm. the amazing music and the, the fun and the funny stars that mm -hmm. we've got in it. Mm -hmm. But then I wanted you to really see that underneath we were telling a story yeah. that a lot of people could relate to, especially right now. Tough mm -hmm. times all yeah. around the world. Yeah. Polarized times. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're in um, it, a lot of people have had moments where they've questioned their own faith, yeah. especially over the last few years. And that's what our lead character does. Yeah. She is doesn't have a relationship with God or faith or the church or any of that. Mm -hmm. But by the end of the movie, she's realized that it was within her all along. Yeah. So you mentioned telling stories. And even outside of that, you have hosts, I mean, you know, produced the Oscars. It, yep. Again, it doesn't seem like there is anything that you have not attempted. I'm wondering, like, what comes next for you? Because this is this is a definitely a different uh, change for you with the musical comedy and, and last year um, with the Oscars. What do you want to do? What would challenge Will Packer? Next. You know, um, I, I would love to do a sequel to this. How about that? <laughs> Audiences like it. I'd love to keep this story going. Uh, I'm doing another Christmas movie. I've done a few of those, but this time I've got a, uh, a black Santa Claus okay. in the center of it. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm excited about that. That's, mm -hmm. that's a movie that will be aimed at a younger audience, aimed okay. at kids. But, you know, I want to just keep telling stories. I think that 
when you talk talk about culturally relevant and significant mm-hmm. stories, mm-hmm. we don't have enough of them. I've been very blessed and very fortunate to be able to tell some yeah. um, that resonate with mm-hmm. folks, and uh, hopefully this is no no uh, exception. Yeah, well, you have a cast that includes funny guys like Drewski and Country Wayne, and yes. then all the way up to, you know, a starlet, uh, Chloe, and then so many people in between. What do you think that key is for that chemistry, getting that cast that actually gels, but yet, like I said, still connects with what's going on in culture? Yeah, that's a good question. you got to have the right people. Yeah. you got to have people that, um, that all do something different, mm-hmm. but do their thing well. Nice. And that's, that, that, is casting Mm -hmm. and who you select and it's Mm -hmm. also your director and the way that she utilizes each of them and Tina Gordon does an amazing job Mm -hmm. in this film. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be a film that there was a little something for a wide variety of people. There's something for the Chloe fans and the Quavo fans. There's something Mm -hmm. for the church folks. You know, you look at Corinne Hawthorne who is an amazing gospel Mm -hmm. star. She is, you know, playing a little bit of the villain, the antagonist in this. You look at um, Jacqueline Jacqueline Carr, (laughs) who in our movie, you know, even though in real life she's an amazing gospel artist, Mm -hmm. faith-based artist, but in the movie she's a girl that's in the club all the time, (laughs) you know? She's the one that's drinking, you know, Hennessy Mm -hmm. on on a Saturday night and going to church on Sunday morning, right? But that person exists. That's real. Absolutely. (laughs) For sure. That is real. Jesus loved them too, you know? (laughs) So anyway, it was good to have a variety of folks in this ensemble. Yeah. I got to ask you one last question because I am a woman of a particular age and I am super excited about the sequel to Girls Trip. Can you give me anything? I mean, we've we've been waiting for the last few years, the four heroes, the sheroes that we can't wait to see back. Can you give us any sneak peek? We're writing it right now. The writers are actually writing (laughs) as closer than it's ever been. Okay. So we're we're going. We're going to try not to let the fans down and those of you that went out and loved it and supported it in such a major way. Yeah. It's coming. All right. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you so much and Thank congratulations. You, I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm.